Hot 97 Morning Show is going down. This is a a different uh, approach. Uh, we are talking about um, an actual <laughs> movement of young dudes uh, that are actually creating great uh, a culinary experience. Introduce yourself to the people. My name is um, L. Walker. Y'all know me also as the Don Mal Don, <laughs> also as Swanye West. You know what I mean? I go buy a few monikers, but you know, I'm gonna let y'all know those two for right now. But um I've I, never seen a Mike held that way in my life. That was, <laughs> well he doesn't you are not you were not an MC in look, another look, life. Look, look, look. I hold I hold spatulas and ladles, man. I don't hold mics. You dig what I'm talking about? So yeah, if you. it look a little awkward, pardon me. Yo, <laughs> young young no young Swanye here is, Swanye. is a is a, is a, is a, is a chef. He he actually and and not chef in the uh Pyrex type fashion, not anything illegal. What's your name? My name is John Gray. All right, and and talk about the culinary experience of Ghetto Gastro. Well, basically, we call ourselves a, a food agency, like it's a collective, a culinary collective. So basically, we just like doing interesting things with with food, bringing the high and low brow types of cuisine together and making a unibrow approach. Unibrow approach. Unibrow. I've never I've never heard that associated with my food before. So, <laughs> is that um when you say high and low brow? I don't I don't understand that. Like, so, is it like? So basically, taking something like you would find in a bodega, like a plantain or plantain plat, platino chips, and taking that and making ice cream out of plantains. They just delivered some <clears throat> ice cream platinos. They were like bonbons. I I had some. Did you have some? Delightful. What? You guys had some and didn't even share with me. These things have grease. So Listen. so. Okay, go ahead, because I, I, I've, I've experienced the ghetto gastro experience, and it's amazing. So listen, we had I went to one of his parties one time, and I think he made lobster and short rib and Swerve. maybe mashed potatoes. I don't even know what, and it was served in a chicken box. Like, one you know, second, the little, the one little... second, Laura, not to interrupt you. Uh, hand the mic back to Swanye West. What did you <laughs> yeah, call that it? Was, that's, that's called the Swerve and Turf. Swerve you know, and just turf. A, it's, just a, um, it's just a ghetto gastrique uh, rendition of... Surf and turf, where we use an exquisite piece of Paul's meat. Um, we did we did short rib rather than filet mignon, and we did a soft butter poached lobster. Steez. Yeah, it was it was incredible. It was incredible. I can't. I cannot do it. Ghetto Gastro. Now, what's your name, sir? My name is Malcolm. I'm the uh, pastry chef of Ghetto Gastro. So pastry chef, um, did you have anything to do with um, the swir You know, so you wouldn't work on the swerve and turf. What would you work on? I do all the desserts. So I'd make the ice creams. We got another venture called Thirty Six Bricks, where we uh, do all ice cream. We have ice cream sandwiches and the the name, the the concept of how to name Thirty Six Bricks was a cool thing. Uh, me and John came up with. Um, we both from the Brax, pretty much one, two, and three are from the X. Um, and the abbreviation of Thirty Six Bricks. Same as uh, the Bronx, which is BX, and the 36. Um, you're going to have 36 flavors. And another cue from that is in uh, ice creams, there's uh, the measurement of sugar is called bricks. So, um, and that's B R I X. B R I X. So that's where and that is. So, this is actually, you're teaching us something that's actually culinary yeah, right actually here. culinary right so it's found so that that measurement is found in fruit wine and ice creams it's called the um the it's amount of sucrose that's in a, a recipe so it's called bricks and then it's 36 ounces in a key mm. which is called the brick a brick so it's a lot of entendres who and knew to watch it's out triple entendre, <laughs> triple entendre. Don't, ask me don't even ask me <laughs> um why are you ignoring the white guy Cause I hadn't got to him yet, cause I was thought maybe <laughs> I was saving for last. That's the member yeah. member of the tribe tribe philosophy. White guy, what is your name? My name's Daniel. Um, I'm uh, the co chef of Ghetto Gastro with uh, Swanye West over there, and uh, I um, yeah. You cook I, up fly flavors. Pretty much, yeah. He savory flavors. Things. Look, you know, he the silver surfer of the culinary world. You know what I mean? Like, you know, you know, I put a recipe together. I'm not. I'm not worried about him um, executing it correctly and vice versa. You understand what I'm saying? He's the he's the Maya Lansky of this culinary shit, man. You know, we got an underground clandestine way we do things, man. And, you know, we organized to a point to where I could call my guy the Maya Lemon Lansky. Damn. <laughs> yeah. It's like y'all formed together like Voltron. No question. No question. You know, it's like, and it's, and it's family based as well. You know, it's a, it's a, you know, it's definitely a Bronx thing. We started from a vision, you know, 
boiling water in a Pyrex, you know? And then John and I, we, we, we manipulated this shit to something larger than w- what it is, you know? With, and, and it is going to be, it is large right now. We're developing right now. And everyone on the team is strong. Everyone, everyone has a strong point. Whatever they do, they're strong at it, man. Now, you, you do, your tone of voice and your, your posture is yeah. a very, like, competitive... Very competitive. Almost like you're taking over the block wow. and cats is coming facts. for your neck. Facts, facts, and, facts and, only. And, and it's out here, it. you might get buck 50. Facts. I'm true. We treating this like the streets, like. We treating this definitely like the streets. I mean, we but got to I, I guess my point is, is to it, you're making me feel like when I come to have a meal prepared for you, I have to be prepared for <laughs> other be things. Thin. Don't be thin. Don't be thin. That's What's that I'm mean? Saying. Then means like your your back is malnutrition and your posture is somewhat of a pasta noodle. You <laughs> know what I mean? Very flaccid. Don't be thin with it. You Come in what I'm aggressive saying? and ready. Nah, don't be don't be aggressive. <laughs> just be confident. You know, See, because your cause your car get pulled. I don't want to be calm. I just want to eat. I just want to chill, my G. Yeah, yeah. I know you just want to chill. So do I. So do I. No, but. <laughs> Like, don't approach me on some real thin shit because then I, you know, I won't really know how to, you know, adapt to that. This is phenomenal. Now, now I'm getting interested. So if someone comes up to you with a weak handshake, oh nah, you were thrown off. It's quiet for them. Like, it's quiet. Yeah, yeah. You would I'm gonna be on some soup Nazi shit. Like, you would, you'd get on some soup Nazi shit. Nah, nah, I wouldn't. But I'll just be like, damn, this nigga real thin. Like, why he shake my hand like that? But I'll keep it moving though, and I'll continue to make exquisite cuisine. <laughs> Oh, facts God. only. Facts, yo, facts. Yo, ghetto gastros, the movement. So I'm I'm watching this right now. I'm listening to this right now. Um, how you guys have a restaurant, multiple restaurants. Yeah, where can are, people taste the yeah, flavors? How, how do I interact with the exquisite cuisine? So we do we do a lot of pop up experiences. Um, you can soon buy 36 bricks in store, so you can feel it like that. And then we, we're doing a pop up coming up next week five-day joint called Featherbed Lane inspired from the block that my mother grew up on. I always thought it was a clever name for a block to have, but it was like a real drug-infested, a lot of, lot of pimping and hoeing happening, but the name of the block is Featherbed Lane, so it's like a, a weird oxymoron. So, gotcha. So, like, we're paying homage to, like, the um, Arthur Avenue delis and then the bodega experiences of the Bronx kind of bringing it together as an amalgam and with a modern twist. And uh, uh, G Pen G Live Granko Science, shout out to Chris and everybody. Kind of put us in the game. We're gonna be there hosting. DJ Enough is gonna be spinning. Yeah, it's gonna be legendary. Now, Thursday. unfortunately, it's yes, yeah, this Thursday. Unfortunately, it's not open to the public yet. So I just wanted everybody to kind of know that the movement was happening, bring the audience into what was happening. So that way, when we have something larger on a larger scale, they'll know that the ghetto gastro exquisite cuisine is not thin by any means. No noodle, no No. pasta noodle. No. Heavy dinner plates only. I mean, you know, you got to... Like only heavy, heavy dinner plates, man. The like medallions. Like medallions. Like uh-huh. if you got a medallion on your chest, that shit better be heavy. Like, yeah. For the food that we create. <laughs> yeah, like... So yeah. And, then, you know, and all the lovely long, young ladies, too, as well. You Talk know, to we, them. We have, you know, um, excellent dishes for them as well. We cook with a lot of finesse. You know, when I'm in the kitchen, I work very clean. You know, I'm clean. Um, disease free. I'm all about layering the flavors. Yeah. Okay, that sounds. We live. We live. In, we I live, just, we live I just wanted this, to have a meal. I didn't want to worry about STDs, my man. We live. In, we definitely live in this wolf life. Like you know what I mean. We out here layering flavors, man. It's not a game. You know? So wait a minute. This takes us into a whole other lane. No. And I knew this was a part of the program, but I was gonna try to stay away from it. But now, Swanye talking slick. You started cooking to get chicks. Keep it real. Well. Yeah, no question. That's a fact. You know, that's what I did. Facts. I started I started cooking to get chicks. I mean, money was always part of the plan as well. So it was money and then it was, you know, then it was these R's out here. R's? R's? Yeah. R's. You know, R, that's something new to y'all. To the, to the, 18th letters. Yeah, the 18th <laughs> yeah. letters. You know, reserves, like to call them reserves. Residuals. And these are pe- people. Ratchets. <laughs> ratchets. Or ratchets. Reserve the R. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm clear now. You know the game done changed, man. I'm damn near married, so. But you know I'm doing I'm doing it for the younger audience too. So. Oh, uh, you're for the kids. <laughs> yeah, ex- a- absolutely. Ghetto Facts. Facts. Ghetto Gastro is for the kids. Ghetto Gastro for the kids. Facts though. We definitely Facts. for the kids. We setting up programs 
for young adults, um, teenagers to learn how to cook, um, keep themselves out of the streets, just like C Cab did for me when I was a youngster, bouncing around from different high schools to different high schools in the city. Um, C Cab did it for me, but I want to make ghetto gastro for them. You know, I'm taking it to the to the upper echelon. We're gonna be using way finer ingredients, and um, product is gonna be more refined. You understand what I'm saying? But we definitely want to reach out and uplift the youth, empower the youth, empower the ghetto. That's why the term ghetto gastro is so catchy because, you know, the the cuisine that we cook is nothing ghetto about it. You know, it may have a ghetto name like a chopped cheese, but who's throwing chipolini onions and and filet mignon and, you know, and gruyere and brie cheese in a chopped cheese. You understand what I'm saying? So it's... um. We we take it to the next level, and we just want to empower the youth, show them that they could do it as well. John, um, were you gonna say go something? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, and we also um working with an organization called Drive Change. It takes incarcerated youth, and they put them through a program to, where they learn culinary skills, and then they work and earn money working on their food truck. So to like reduce the reentry rate of incarcerated. Wait, what is that? Youth. Drive Change. Drive Change. Yeah. Okay. So we're doing an event with them Thursday as well. Later on that night, charity joint. Y'all should come through. That's Thursday. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's about it's about like kind of bringing something, another element to cuisine, like showing people in the in these neighborhoods and, or at-risk youth, I hate that term, but that is other options besides drugs, sports, rap, you know, it's other other lanes that could also be deemed exciting and cool, you know? No doubt. Very cool, man. Ghetto Gastro, if I want to follow y'all movement, is there like a Twitter or is there, how's it work? At, at Ghetto Gastro, um, you know, Ghetto Gastro, G-H-E-T-T-O-G-A-S-T-R-O. And then ghettogastro.com. So there's a website. Yeah, it's and a splash page. It's not, but we're working on GG Digital, which we're going to aggregate a lot of creative food content and become like a publisher. Now, is any, uh, and maybe you could speak to this, you being a chef and all of you guys maybe contribute. I know there's a big movement about uh, healthy eating in low income, you know, in the yeah, neighborhoods facts. we come from, low income neighborhoods. Facts. How's what you guys doing playing into that? Well, we come from generations of diabetes, we come from generations of cholesterol, and, um, Basically, basically, it's like this. You know, everything you have to do in moderation. You know, I'm not, um, I'm not knocking, you know, um, crabs, dungeness. I'm not knocking um, sea urchin, foie gras. I'm not knocking things like that because they taste wonderful. But, um, you know, you have to do it in moderation. And we also cook well, develop programs for... Um, for, for I was actually just on this TV show that aired last night uh, called Cook Your Ass Off and... Um I, I I didn't win. I was a contestant on there, but um, it was a healthy cooking competition, and uh, I'm all about just just simple, clean, pure flavors that really translate through and without uh, hiding it through a lot of fats and different things like that. So, it's really so I'm sure like in like cook. all of the wonderful things that you guys put together that we all know are amazing but potentially unhealthy, you guys are mixing in yeah. other things that are probably helping balance that out. And then <clears throat> and then even like with, with people that can't necessarily access one of our events because they're small. Like, we, we want to show people what they could buy with their food stamps at the farmer's market that might last long, how to properly buy goods that could be cheap and fresh and how to u- utilize those ingredients. Because awesome. Yeah. A lot of people don't know, like, you could, like, $1 on your food stamps turns into $1.50 at the farmer's market. So it's, like, all these different incentives to buy fresh and healthy. Right. Ghetto Gastro. Go ahead, brother, before yeah, we break. Yeah, and with the 36 bricks, we're also going to have uh, vice cream, which is vegan ice cream. Uh, we're gonna play. We're gonna uh, have a lot of ice creams with raw style uh, vegan cuisine, which is no cooking. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of sorbets, fresh natural ingredients, um, no other uh, GMOs, um, just real natural products using things like agave and and honey and things like that. Um, well, honey can't be for the vegans, but you know everyone else could have it. But vegans can't do honey. Yeah, because it's from bee. Well, it's tr- tr- purest, purest. Well, no, it's it's from a bee. So, so the purest won't do. Purest that. won't do it, but. Some, Some vegans will. Wow. Cool. Ghetto Gas Dro. I like it. And uh, we'll Ghetto be hanging gas. out with Ghetto them this gas. week at Fe- Featherbed Lane. Is Fe- what a- Featherbed Lane. So we'll um, we'll share that, uh, the pictures and the experience with you guys. But follow these guys on Twitter and follow the Ghetto Gas Dro movement. Watch Swanye West. He, he out here moving, this guy. One, one, Dangerous. One. And, and they call me Fidel Gastro. Everybody got Fidel a Fidel Gastro. Fidel Gastro, you know. Um, yeah, that's 
Ah, man, <laughs> stop <God>. it. Yeah. <laughs> stop it. Can we, can we keep a hood, though? You know, like, Hot 97 being here is like a New York City shout childhood out. dream. Can we just keep it ghetto? <laughs> do can, it. We, can we do the shout out? You get to the shout out. Facts, oh, facts only. 121 Park. Shout out to the whole Fifth City. <laughs> Even though y'all all hate me. <laughs> Give them the mic. What, what's Fifth City? What is That's that? Section 5. Oh, Fifth City, Corp City, Section 5. Shout out to the whole Bronx. Shout out to Prospect Ave 167. Shout out to 151st, 8th Ave, Colonial. Stevens and Commons. You know what I mean? Mitchell. You know what I mean? We all got chicken there at one point. You know what I mean? Shout out to Bronx River. <laughs> Shout out to all of the chicken coops across the city. Shout out to mom and pop. Mom yeah. and pop right now. Word. Shout out to Ma Dukes. You know what I mean? Ghetto you know, Gastro. You Thank knew you I'd make it. And I'm here. And I'm not a square. <laughs>